this. Do you want to lead or do you want me to? <laughs> it doesn't matter. We can both hop in. Okay. So this is going to be basically just covering our team side of Canvas. So this is what you guys have access to. And we are continually building this out with more templates. But um, I put as, the uh, login. If you guys don't have the login in the chat. Yeah. And so that's this is for our Canva Teams account. That's on um, PHT Agent Resources as well. So everything that you're seeing that says brand template, you guys will have access to. I can see other stuff that I've created in this account too. Um, and then, yeah. So basically you can go into any of these. So let's say we wanted to do like a flyer for a moving truck. You just use this template. You won't have edit the original as an option for you guys because you don't own the account. Emma, I use your headshot all the time just because <laughs> it's like at the top. So. You're, you're our model. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you know, this, you is do gonna, the <laughs> this is going to pull up and you have the ability to go in and change this to literally whatever you want. So if you don't like how something is worded, go in and change it. Um, whoops. There we go. Um, so you have the ability to do all of that. So right now we have it set to where, oh no, you can. Okay. So you have access to all the fonts. You should have access to the pro fonts too. So that's like the paid version of Canva. So if you don't like the fonts or you have a branding package that has specific fonts in it, you can always go through and change those. If you're not seeing your font, you can also upload a font here. So a lot of times, um, I'm trying to think of who I did that for recently. I want to so say it won't there. let me if I'm in there, it won't let me use any other font unless oh, our brand I, wonder if I set it for just our brain kit. Okay. Yeah. I can change so, that. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah, I'll change it to open it up. We were just trying to keep it like yeah, as on brand as possible, yeah. but yeah, it'll show our brand like the fonts that are in our brand there kit right there. And then other available. And when okay. we go into they we want to use a template i've never mm -hmm. used a team account yet so you mm -hmm. like make new template or copy template or because we don't want to copy. original it automatically copies it yeah oh, okay so, so copy of moving truck flyer up here and then if you copy a copy it'll say copy of copy of moving truck flyer <laughs> copy, copy, copy. it'll never it won't edit the original the originals are locked so i look at <laughs> put like because will it show up in every like yeah the, i would put like your name Yep. In front of it or something so that we know whose is whose. Yep. Um, so then colors, I think I might've locked as well. Yeah. It's just going to be this palette right here. So I might open that up too. Thank you. Um, okay. So then from here, so once you have like your colors and your fonts and everything decided, um, you can change out this photo if you want to, you can do anything. So if you're going to upload a photo, if you've used Canva, you know how to do this. So right now, this is all that's in this account. So you're going to have to upload, like if you want to add your logo or your headshot or anything like that, um, you just upload it from your computer. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. so I'm Adam. I just upload it. Super easy. So if you... faster. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay. So if you wanted to change out the headshot and you didn't want the background in it, you click on the photo, hit edit photo at the top background remover. And nine times out of 10, it's really great. Sometimes you have to go in and like edit out some of the smaller details if you don't mm -hmm. want that in there, but usually it's pretty good. And that's just the magic eraser tool. Yep. Oh, I was going to say, I did not know that. Where is that eraser tool? Oh, it's right next to the background remover. Oh, so if you click on that, okay. Good. Wait, I never do it that way. I always go oh. here and just erase in here. Wow. Oh. Way. <laughs> Wait, what's the other one? I think it's the same thing. Funny, and it's just in two different. Yeah. Wait, where did you find that? Oh, interesting. So if you do the background remover option, so this one. yeah, the background, but then there might it might leave like. All the photos that we have oh. for some reason the couch is part of the couch is always on there so always. like yeah 
click on it again and click the erase and it'll get the rest of it. Yeah. So once this little slider thing shows up, you can click on that. You can change the brush size. If you're trying to restore something, you can hit, well, this is a bad example because the background's white, but yeah. you can hit rest, uh, show original image and then be able to restore right on the lines that you're trying to get to. Oh, uh, cool. thank you. Yeah. So that is one way to do it. The other way is just to use magic eraser where it's just a brush and you just erase out of the background what you don't want. So either way, whatever works best for you. Oops. And then obviously you just go in and change all this stuff out to the correct email, phone number, name also. And if you wanted to add like text or anything or any other elements, it's all on the left side of the screen. Elements. Elements. And then under it, there's the text. Yeah. If you want a shortcut, I, I have shortcuts. So if you want text, just hit T and it'll show a text box. If you want to put a square in or a rectangle, technically R, oops, I'm still in a text box, text box. R is going to show up your rectangle. Are you hitting something else when you're hitting the letter too? No, it's just the letters. You just have to make sure you're like on the screen. C is circle. Do you set that up yourself as a shortcut or is that just automatically? Automatically. Oh my gosh. I know it blew my mind and I learned it. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Lines. Oh yeah, line is L. No way. That is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been using yeah. for years and I have no idea. Yeah, so it makes it, I mean, it, all of those are like the most commonly used ones. So they're all yeah. right here too. But yeah. if you're like in the middle of designing and you don't want to click a hundred things, you can just like, like search or anything. Yeah. Um, so Canva, as most of you know, does have a ton of photos too that you can use. All of these are copyright free, so don't worry about that. Um, but if you want to upload your own, it's just under uploads. You can also upload videos and audio uh, files as well. It's the same process. Um, if you have something that is a PDF or a PNG, you can also upload. Well, okay. If you have a PDF already made and you want to edit it, you can drag and drop directly onto your home screen and it'll enter it as a project. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to like try to recreate it. Um, if it was made in Canva, usually it can recognize that and it'll let you edit stuff directly. Sometimes it doesn't, but that has also saved a lot of time. Um, I have a question. I'm totally yeah. blanking on. So when you were in elements and all like those stock photos were there, yeah. did you just type in like, interior design or you just type it into elements because I'm totally blanking on where you get those photos yeah that so you can, you can type in like home interior okay. or whatever yeah or like then, living room entryway whatever or okay. you can scroll down to photos too oh okay I think it on is, my my account like my personal one on my left bar I there's mm -hmm. a, just a photos option so I didn't know you could get it in elements yeah they took that away on mine and I don't really oh. know why but it, Okay. Maybe mine is too. I said it. <laughs> yeah. Mine is, I don't know if they like updated or what, but they changed a lot of stuff in mine. Um, QR codes. So if you want to create a QR code apps, uh, where is it at? It's in here somewhere. There it is. QR code. And then you just enter your URL. Hey, <laughs> I was just trying to figure out how to do that. Is blown. <laughs> and then generate QR code, boom. And then it'll also save to your uploads. Oh, just kidding. Okay, on my actual team one, it does. If well, you try, can you drag uh, it into uploads from there? Or does it just, I think it doesn't just go off the screen. No, I don't think you can. Oh yeah, okay. off the screen, so. But yeah, fastest way to create a QR code wow. is through Canva directly. Um. Logos, if you have a logo that has a background on it, you can remove the background the same way you do for a headshot. Just use the background remover. I'm trying to think if there's anything else with. Did you make your logo, Hannah, in Canva? Yeah. I've made a lot of the agent's logos. I so. love when like the two letters kind of like connect because yours are like, they are right next to other or they mm -hmm. overlap. Yeah, I love yeah. that. Thanks. Um... I'm trying to think if there's anything else really in like elements or anything that we use a lot. 
I mean, if you want to like create different templates too, you obviously have the ability to do that under Design. templates. <laughs> Design templates. Yeah. So if you're, so like, actually I should go back out. So if you're wanting to put together, like this is in my way, uh, like a flyer, we'll say. You just go create a design flyer. You can also do a custom size. Um, and then let's say you like this option. You just click on it and then change out everything that you want the same way that you would with the template. Cool. What else can I show you guys? So the other day I couldn't find a picture that I, that like was fitting what I wanted. Mm -hmm. So there's an AI option in there. Oh yeah, I should. Yes. It's really cool. So you do have Canva assistant, which is the fastest way I think to get to the AI options. So you have all of your like magic stuff. Oh, maybe you guys don't have all the same stuff I do. I don't see like, oh, maybe I have to click on. Yeah. Okay. So for photos, wait, Jen, how do you do the photo AI stuff? I don't know if I know how to do that. I think, I don't know. Cause I don't, um, I feel like yours is set up different. It might be. Um, mm -hmm. I did a search for photos and then is there, otherwise it was maybe an edit photos. Because if you go up and over on tools, will it let you move over? Mm -mm. Oh, where did I find it then? It might just be because this is a Teams account and not a personal account. There's like limited stuff. Yeah. No, it was in the team. I'll try and find out, figure it out. And okay. I can let you know. So the other part about the AI stuff that they've implemented is you can click on, like, if you have a title and you're like, I don't know if I really dig that, you can go to this little, like, magic button down here and you can hit, like, I mean, any of these options, but rewrite if you're not digging that. Oh, wow. And it'll give you some different options and you can do that as many times as you want to. That's cool. So that's nice, too, if you're, like, wanting to post something, but you've seen other people on the team post it or something like that, and you want to change it up a little bit, you can use that as an option. Obviously, chat GPT also exists, so you can use that as well. Um, okay, so let's say that you are ready to download stuff. So there's a couple different ways that you can give people access to stuff like this. If you're wanting this to stay in Canva and be a working document, you can do a view only link, which would allow people to view your stuff electronically. They don't have the ability to like change anything, but if you're hyperlinking out to stuff, they'll be able to click on that in the document um, and like be able to do all that stuff through that. Um, otherwise, I always download the share to your social thing. I just don't do ever because mm -hmm. it's a pain in the butt. For social media stuff, PNGs, um, I think, work the best. They're fine. It's a really small file, so it doesn't take up a lot of your space. If you don't want a background on it, you can do transparent background. Other than that, just download straight as a PNG. If you are printing something, PDF print every time. Otherwise, your colors get squashed on your images, and it just doesn't look super great. If you're removing backgrounds from stuff, it'll still show the outline of... Um, like the image as like a faint shadow. So that doesn't look great either. If you are printing something through a print shop, they're going to ask for crop marks. You just check that and it'll show up for them. Um, what other options? SVG, if you're doing um, like logo work, SVG files usually work best for those. If you're trying to embed something into an email in follow-up boss, JPEG is the only way to do it. Mm -hmm. So if you're wanting to send out this flyer in follow-up boss in an email, download it as a JPEG, upload it as a photo. 
trying to think if there's really anything else. I mean, if you have animations in your stuff, then it's going to download automatically as an MP4 file. You can change it to a GIF if you want to, but. Any questions on the downloading side of things? Or anything mm -hmm. else? Or anything else, yeah. We definitely learned a few things. I had no idea you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and they're constantly changing stuff too. So who knows what'll be next, but yeah, there's a ton of stuff in here. Um, we're trying to be good about adding stuff to it's a, a labor of love. So yeah. And then I'll go in and I'll open up the fonts and colors too. I forgot that I said it like that. Thank you. So what do we, what do we have access to? Is it Canva for teams? Yes. Or what is it considered? Yep. So our team account owns the teams account that you guys have access to. Okay. So, and then we're all just using one profile under the teams account because each team member costs an additional whatever per year. Yeah. Oh, so it's just easier this way. Um, so the login that's in the chat, it will get you under the okay. teams account. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So don't, don't be afraid to like get in and make, make stuff. your own stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. I made my son's grad announcement in there. I was like, oh, I hope that's okay. Oh, yeah. totally fine. Use it for whatever. <laughs> yeah. But cool. Is there any other questions? Thank you. I learned new stuff. Good deal. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Good deal. All right. We will talk to you guys later then. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank Thanks you. Again. How do I end this? Every time. Just end.